And Father Steve Adrian, I was lucky enough to be assigned to Incarnation as my first assignment after ordination in 1968, and I was here for 10 years until June of 1978. Those were wonderful years for me, and they were wonderful years for Incarnation. This was the period of time just after the Second Vatican Council, when a whole variety of new energy emerged in the life of the Church and new opportunities. For instance, I was lucky enough to be here for the birth of the, the first Incarnation Parish Council, and the struggles as well as the joys that were part of men and women of the parish representing the parish coming together to seek to make policy and to seek to set direction for the life of the parish. It was also an era in which Incarnation became very active with the community at large. Um, the Twin Cities organization was a community-based organization that Incarnation played a part in. I remember specifically one of the issues that uh, really struck in this parish was the ability of people to obtain loans in order to purchase homes. And what became clear is that there were some banks that were redlining certain areas of the city of Minneapolis and charging higher interest rates in those areas than in other areas. And through the work of the Twin City Organization, through the work of Incarnation and many other churches like Incarnation, uh, we were able to, uh, to address that and to be able to get some justice and equity with regard to uh, people's ability to purchase housing. Education took a, a great stride during those, those years. Um, clearly, principally the work of the Dominican uh, sisters uh, and under the direction mostly of, uh, of Sister Mary McCarthy and Sister Guinevere. Uh, the school grew, the school expanded, the, uh, the style of education uh, developed into a, a much more interactive style of education. Parents were brought into the religious education of their kids more seriously. Uh, parents participated in the preparation of children for uh, for baptism and for first communion and for first confession, and that was a that was a new effort on the part of the church. It took some getting used to. Some parents were uh, a little bit sheepish about doing that, not thinking it was their role, and they had to be helped along the way to see how that truly was part of a parent's responsibility in cooperation with the school or a religious education program. That there was a a partnership between the home and the parish. Um, those were wonderful years for uh, Incarnation. As I was thinking back, I remember it was, it was 40 years ago now when this parish celebrated its 60th anniversary. Monsignor Gormley was pastor at the time, and, um, and Father John Malone and I were here as, as assistant priests. Um, and I believe it was Father Nick Cody who was the administrator of the parish at the time. And I had the privilege of being able to preach at the Mass that commemorated the 60th anniversary of, of, of Incarnation. Uh, and so here we are, 40 years later, and it's the 100th anniversary, a wonderful jubilee celebration, an opportunity to remember, an opportunity to celebrate, an opportunity to look to the future. And I think that's what's important about anniversaries. It's wonderful to be nostalgic and to look back. It's important to know where we've come from. But it's also terribly important to look at what the future offers us. And the future is found in the young people of this community. The future is found in the children of this community. Whatever you and I hope for tomorrow, whatever our dream is for tomorrow, is locked up in the hearts and the minds and the souls of these kids. So whatever investment we can make, around the lives of kids, the education of kids, the religious formation of kids, the strengthening of kids. Whatever we can do is to ensure the future, the future of this parish, the future of this neighborhood. Guys like me have had our shot. You know, we've lived our lives by and large. Our job right now, our job right now is to help young people achieve what it is that they need to achieve. They've been handed a world that was very different from the world that I was handed. And they're going to need answers that are very different from the answers that I discovered. The 
point is, though, they're also going to need adults who are going to take them by the hand and assure them and lift them up, admire them, encourage them uh, to be the people that God wants them to be. So happy anniversary, happy 100th anniversary, happy centennial to uh, Incarnation Parish. A very big part of Incarnation during those years I was here was obviously the school. That's where a huge amount of energy, clearly that's where a huge amount of our financial resource went, is around the education of kids. And the opportunity as a young priest to have chance to interact with kids, whether it was kids in kindergarten or kids in fourth grade or kids in the, in the upper grades, was really a joy. And we were certainly welcome to do that. Father Malone and I and, and the other priests were certainly welcome and encouraged to spend as much time as we wanted in the school. And that did provide us with an opportunity to connect with families. Nothing gets you into the lives of adults more than their kids. And when you're active in the lives of their kids, all of a sudden, you become part of a family unit. And that was a blessing that was present here uh, during those years. A blessing that I'm really very grateful for.